It's four years after the nationwide NSAS protest and demonstrators gathered at the Leke Toolgit earlier today, but they were dispersed and arrested by the police of by police officers with heavy presence at the scene. In this next report, we X-ray some activities of the Nigeria Police Force after the NSAS protest. The NSAS protest of 2020 has remained a period of soul searching for the country and the police in particular. Different reports reveal that 51 persons lost their lives, 11 police officers and 7 soldiers. By counting their losses, the police authority revealed that out of the 5,506 units of police stations in the country, 205 were either burnt or vandalized, armory attacked and firearms looted. According to them, out of the 73 deaths recorded, 22 were policemen. Public and private businesses weren't spared. It was a dark period for the country, but have lessons been learned? Police accountability is a fundamental pillar to any democratic governance. And one of the lessons uh, that I believe that we have all learned uh, between uh, 2020 and now uh, is that we have not really put uh, some infrastructure to operate uh, in an accountable manner uh, that will help for uh, scrutiny around the right violations. To be very honest and be balanced, uh, the state had made efforts. And one of the efforts they have made is that they have put in place a, an act that is very new uh, that also succeeded uh, the over 75 four-year-old uh, previous uh, legal framework. If, for instance, uh, the creation of the complaint response unit, which had been there for a while, uh, but it was strengthening the public complaint bureau, uh, which was also an infrastructure to manage uh, confidence building. And all of these mechanisms uh, were actually increase the capacity uh, to also help independence. Uh, but again, one of the setbacks that we have noticed perhaps was around uh, the inability to process uh, some of the fundamentals. And one is the issue of the regulation. You cannot have a new police act and not have a new regulation that will be able to help you uh, have complementarity. He advises the police to pay more attention to the welfare of his main and the tactical teams in particular. How well are we putting equipment as a priority in developing a plan uh, that will match what we have requested for? The third one uh, is also the mistake of having to put the strategic level uh, interface and intervention uh, at the top and neglecting uh, the tactical level operators. Because again, uh, those who are the tactical level are those who interface with everyday Nigerians. And of course, that is where Nigerians build the perception of what police and policing looks like. Post and as uh, we have really seen uh, that there are some roadmaps were built internally, uh, but again, uh, is the internal mechanism for monitoring. And I think for me, that is where the issue really lies. Monitoring has been a little bit of an issue, has been a bit of a setback, and hasn't been something that we have actually uh, enjoyed in a very robust manner. Before disbanding the special anti-robbery squad, the police had on the 2nd of November 2020 carried out debriefing and medical evaluation of the special anti-robbery squad officers and other tactical teams. The protesters had demanded the disbandment of the special anti-robbery squad and justice for all the victims of police brutality, compensation for the families of those who lost their lives, amongst others.